Hi everybody, thanks a lot for coming into my kitchen. It's soup day. I am making a 13 bean soup. We love soup any time of the year. It's nice to have a bowl of soup at lunch or if you have soup stored away in your freezer, it's a quick dinner. So that's what we love about the versatility of soup. I think we should get started. I'll tell you what, I have had a couple of viewers write in and when I do a bean recipe and I say sort your beans, they say, what, what does that mean? What do you do when you sort your beans? So I'm going to just do a little demonstration here. I'm sure a lot of you may know about this, maybe you don't. So I thought I'd just do a little quickie uh, sample here. Um, this is the 13 beans that I'm going to use today. And what sorting means is you, you just kind of go through and what you're checking for are little pebbles or little dirt little dirt pebbles because sometimes they are in beans many times actually they are and so what you're doing is you're just kind of going through here to see if you see any little pebbles or little rocks and if they are of course you want to pull those out the other thing you want to look for are beans that just look funky you know they just don't look like great beans so you would pull those out as well but right now I think all of this looks pretty good so I'm going to take these and put them in a, a, a colander and then I'm going to rinse them and we will start putting this recipe together. All right, I have those beans here in my pot. They've been rinsed and gone through, of course, as we did that before. I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves. And then here I've got some onion and some celery and carrot. And actually, I had a little bit of um, green onion left in my, or is it there in my refrigerator. And I said, oh heck, put it in there. So that's what I'm doing with that. So that's all going in there. And then I have uh, some wonderful garlic. This is a couple of cloves of garlic that's going in. Just nicely minced. You could do that by hand or garlic, uh, you know, garlic press, whichever one you like to use. And now here's, you know, here's the wild card. This is some canned jalapeno chilies and they, they're chopped. You can buy them. Ortega makes them. Other brands make them. And as I said, this is the wild card. You can decide to put it in or you can decide to leave it out. And this is almost a full, you know, one of those little cans. So we're going to put that in there and give it a little pizzazz. Usually I use like um, uh, cayenne pepper, but and we decided to try that today. And speaking of pepper, I'm going to add some ground pepper. I'm not going to add salt until we're ready to taste because I'm going to be using, even though it's low sodium, I'm using some a vegetable broth and it has salt in it and you just never know how much salt you're going to get. So now I'm going to add, I'm adding a total of seven and a half cups of liquid. This is one of the quart size, you know, quart size vegetable um, containers that you get. And then I'm going to use just plain water for the other, that's four and this is three and a half. Sometimes we find some of these uh, broths are just too concentrated. So we tend to, uh, you know, kind of water it down a little bit. So I'm going to give this a stir. And the other thing I'm going to do is I have, uh, I had a smoked ham shank and I cooked it thoroughly in the Instant Pot. And then what we do is we pull the, the meat off it and make sure it's very well uh, rid of any fat and that sort of thing. And it's been just nicely chopped up. So I'm going to put about half of that in there. So as it cooks, it's going to get some of that smoky flavor. And then after it is done cooking, I will put the remainder in there. And that's uh, almost two cups of meat. So I'm going to give this a good stir. I've got everything in here that I believe I'm supposed to. I'm looking at my counter and I don't see anything left, so that's good. I'm going to put the lid on. Now, you know, I don't know how many times I've done this. I always leave the ring out when I'm, uh, you know, when it's being stored because the ring can, you know, build up some uh, scent, you know, some smell. Anyway, sometimes I forget to put that darn ring in there and I have from time to time and it, guess what? The pot doesn't work, right? So I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to put it on sealed, right there on sealed. I'm going to hit the manual button here and I'm going to give this 50 minutes on, you know, the high that usually no more comes on. Get 50 minutes on manual and then I'm going to let this go into a slow, uh, you know, manual, 
what's it called natural release because you don't want to open up a pot or give it a quick quick release when you have pot you know beans in a pot because I have and let me tell you you will have bean juice absolutely all over your kitchen so I'm going to uh, you know I'm going to let this go and when the 50 minutes is up and the natural release has happened and all that pressure has uh, been released from that uh, pot then we'll open it up and see what we've got we are back and it cooked for the 50 minutes and I let it go to natural release and it's been on warm well it's been on warm about 20 minutes like you know I got kind of waylaid and started doing other things but here's the pot and we're gonna open it up together and we're gonna see what it looks like okay here we go mm-hmm mm -hmm. oof Oh yes, doesn't that look, that looks sensational. I can dig out those little bay leaves now. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Okay, so this looks amazing. And I'm going to now, oh gosh, it does look good, doesn't it? I'm going to add the remainder of that pork shank that I had previously held back. My, uh, what happens, you know, to me is that when you cook with it, um, it's already, the pork shank was already cooked when I put it in the pot. So, you know, it will release some of that wonderful smokiness, but because I, I left half of it out and put it in just now, you know, you're gonna get, it's gonna intensify that flavor and a little bit more of that texture. So that's, that was my, that's how I've done this in the past and it works out really well. I'm going to let this stay on the warm mode and it'll slowly warm up that uh, pork. Now, if I was in a hurry, I could switch it to, uh, you know, manual or saute actually. Um, and so it would get it boiling faster, but because I, I have time here before lunch, I'm just gonna let it uh, stay on warm. So I'm very pleased with it. And uh, I'm sure um, the director is out right now, but I will bet he is gonna be ready for this when he gets back. So uh, we're gonna take a taste of it real soon. food time it's soup time he was gone and he's back and he's walked through the door and what'd you say i smell soup it does it smells dynamite okay now, it's really hot though honey real hot so this sat in my pot for oh for about uh 20 minutes 30 minutes after yeah after um i cooked the pork in it how are we doing there Taste a little salt. Well, see, I didn't put any salt or pepper oh, in it. Boy, that's good. So I know it probably does. I love the 16 bean soup. Mm -hmm. Is this 16, 18? 13. 13. Mm. Well, we're <clears> trying to. Account. It's uh, inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Shrinkflation. Instead of mm. 16 or 18, but it's very good. It's very wow. good. It's creamy. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Just keep that coming all day. It is so delicious. It's so savory. It's warm. The beans are creamed up in there, you know, but yet there's the beans are in there. Mm. Yeah, I don't want any more, sweetheart. But it's true. I didn't I add do. salt when I cooked it. And I added just, you know, I don't taste in there is the jalapeno. Do you get any? I get a little, you, do you get uh, a little, get a little, little spice. Okay, yeah. then that's good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave the recipe down below for you. The way I made it today. Now, you could cut this mm. recipe in half if you... You're going to have small okay. family, you don't no. want to, it's hot, I know, hot to cold. freeze it. Make a whole batch and freeze some of it. Mm. It's so good. And you can do it stove top or you can do it in the slow cooker, what honey? Or you can just binge heat it, you bowl can, after it, bowl. It is really good. I hope you'll visit my Amazon, I'm an Amazon influencer. Oh, are you? And you can go there and there's little videos now that you can see products that I've demonstrated and reviewed. And then you can purchase them. Cool. And then also, I want to ask you to give me a th I'm going to give him the whole sales pitch here. Okay. Want to give me a thumbs up. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll tell you why. I found out recently, that kind of thing is very valuable to me. It helps It helps make my channel more thriving and, and more popular. So there you go. All right, that's it. I'm done. It's eating stuff. Not me. I got a bowl of soup. Thank you so much, friends, for coming by. We are so happy that you're here today on we that are. crazy ride we call... Chill for a day. No, life. 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 I, I never get that right. Take care, everyone. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Eat soup. Oh, eat soup. Mm. Bye.